afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Striding in, Alex Bregman. He will lead this one off today. Set and the two and one pitch. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Center fielder looking up. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. This guy has some pop. You can't just lay one in there. What happens? He leads the game off just like that. It's one nothing. At the plate, Josh Reddick hit on the ground out to short. Ahmed has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. In now, Jordan Alvarez. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. After it is Peralta. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Stepping in now. Carlos Correa and it's fouled away here's the one two and a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball and the inning is over here's Starling Marte he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Set to get his day started. Nick Ahmed batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Three balls and a strike to count to the Diamondback shortstop. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Digging in. Cattell Marte. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. So stepping in, David Peralta, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Peralta. Ballman, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He went deep last night twice. Ahmed over at second. Marte on at first with two down. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. New inning set to get underway. Here's George Springer, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. And he misses two and one. All even now, two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
One ball and two strikes to count. The one two takes this the other way to right and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. To the plate now Martin Maldonado and a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Two and two the count. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike that three called, and there are two down. The Number 39. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all. But hey, at least he's making the pick. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping into the box, Christian Walker. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first it, out. Stepping in, Stephen Vogt. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. A two ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. Drilled to the right side. Altuve has it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now to the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Hey, I don't care what league you're in, American, national, if you're playing on Mars, if you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight hole hitter, and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. The one two swing line drive that's going to be trouble and this will find the wall out near the visitors bullpen and he'll pull into second here with nobody out now that the right fielder Josh Reddick. into the box Josh Reddick high in the air out to center field Marte is there and he has it for the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The second base. The man at second with one down, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this one's in the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And the 2 1. Fouled away. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. This is line to left. Base hit, and that'll get a run in.
the left fielder, number 44. Jordan In now, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Strike taken, the throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Ready with the two and two. Rounded up the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and he is safe at the plate, and the lead is now three to nothing. The batter, number one, quick shot, Carlos Correa. Into the box now, Carlos Correa, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Fielder, George Springer, the next to hit, flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, 3 and 1. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Two down runners at first and second. Fouled off. Three two pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Standing in now, Alex Young. And a ball and two strikes to the Diamondbacks pitcher. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. The 2-1. Diamondback still searching for that first hit of the ball game. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And now pitch on the way. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Here comes the payoff pitch. Chopper to short. Scooped up. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Coming to the plate now, Martin Maldonado. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts but no one likes to go down looking expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AB so digging in now Josh James he was a strikeout victim in his first try and now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down but a foul ball one and two the count now trying to send him packing for the second time and he's bunting with two strikes, but can't connect, so a real wasted at bat there. Three runs, seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Hit high and deep to right center. Marte is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So here's Josh Reddick. No hits to this point. Right fielder, Josh. A 1 1 is belted and take a look at this deep to right center field and it's gone.
At the plate now, Jose Altuve. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. At the plate, Cattell Marte. And maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. David Peralta comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. To 2 and 2 now. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Fastball well outside. Eduardo Escobar is on deck. Liner toward right center. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Stepping in now, Eduardo Escobar. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try and induce the ground ball to get a double play. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now back. Striding into the box, Christian Walker. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Up next for Arizona, Stephen Vogt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Mike Leak, 5'10 right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number eight. Mike. Ready once again, Jordan Alvarez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Nip the corner, two and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Five runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. At the plate, George Springer. Down low, two balls and a strike. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Slap hard the opposite way. Marte is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel passed battles with Mike Lee. Just a 3-for-13 batting line. The 1-1 home. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Martin Maldonado. To the plate now. Martin Maldonado. Two and two count to the Astros catcher. Right. 
Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. On the first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. He flew out in his last at-bat. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And he fouls this one off. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Hildemaro Vargas is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Lays off the changeup, and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Got him reaching there, strike two. Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Springer on the warning track. He makes the catch. Merrill Kelly takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 29. Merrill. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in once again, Josh James. He struck out while trying to lay down a bunt last time. Yeah, and he just straight up whiffed on that two-strike bunt attempt. And not to be too critical, but it wasn't the best of looks either. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. One away for the Astros here in the sixth, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Nope. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, and that gets through for a one out base hit. Now that the right field. In now, Josh Reddick. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. Onto the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster now all the way around. Runner at second now as a result of the error. And that will give way to the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now the 2-1 pitch is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Jordan Alvarez will be next. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Out of the stretch, the three-two pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Marte is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Stepping into the box, Jordan Alvarez. Let's Two for three with a double Jordan on his line so far. Alvarez. A 
Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Come on, be back. Shoots this one over to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now a swing and a fly ball. After it is Marte. And no one will track it down. to two balls and two strikes now. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Stepping in, Nick Ahmed. He'll be the first to swing it here in the Arizona sixth inning. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No bets off the plate, ball two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. And Alvarez will be there for the first out. Ready for another shot now to tell Marte. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Uh, very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. Without question, the more comfortable side being from the right side. So he's going to have his work cut out for him here hitting left-handed. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. There is Altuve. And there's out number two. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Peralta. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now in the box, Eduardo Escobar. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Brad Peacock, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Brad Peacock. So now to the plate, Christian Walker. Two balls and a strike couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitters count and a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two hit to third on to the first baseman Guriel and that will end the inning. in for Houston George Springer he could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far soft liner to the left side and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven so here's Yuli Gurriel trying to keep it going a perfect three for three thus far now the 2 1 there. Martin Maldonado is on deck. Back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to first. Two gone. Ready for another chance. Martin Maldonado. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 2-1. 
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Here's the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And it's fouled away. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Michael Brantley will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 23, Michael Brantley. Two and two. A runner on first with two away. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Three, two pitch. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Now about it. The third baseman, Alex. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. Corbin Martin enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Standing in now, Josh Reddick. Two and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Popped up. And he'll get under it to put it away in Ladies foul and territory, Jeff and that Tom ends the inning. Brian Abreu gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Stephen Vogt, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Fouled away. So a full count now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first out. Digging in now, Gildemaro Vargas, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. Tim LaCastro will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 16, Tim Fly ball out toward left center field. Springer giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Kevin Ginkle comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to begin the eighth, standing in, Jose Altuve. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The one-two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The left fielder, number 44. So coming to Jordan the plate, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The 1 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. The batter, number one. So two gone now in the Houston eighth. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Correa in front, three balls and a strike. George Springer would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And Yeesh, not the kind of swing you're looking for three and one as it runs to a full count now three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The center fielder number four. George Springer. Into the box now. George Springer. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peralta is under it. And that ends the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Starling Marte. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he takes two ball two, and it's two and one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So striding in, Nick Ahmed. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. One and one, here it comes. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fouled off. Now another one two. Helpful. Could tell Marte will be next. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Cattell Marte. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Springer. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, David now Peralta. Left fielder, David Peralta. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over.
stepping up to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. The 3 1. Line drive to left. Peralta is there and he'll bring this one in. At the plate, Martin Maldonado. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. And a swing and a miss here in the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Aledmus Diaz will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Walker will put this one away and the side is retired. Roberto Ozuna enters the game from the pen and because this is a non save situation it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now at the plate, Christian Walker. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now batter. The catcher. He's there. Into the box, Stephen Boat to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. In now, Gildemaro Vargas lays off the slur there, and it's three and one now. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he fouls this one off. Still only one out in the inning. And that is swung on and missed. And things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Number 56, Cole Calhoun. And it's fouled away. Arizona down to its last strike. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Throw to first will be in time to get him, and the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Well, I'm kind of running out of words to describe how incredible this winning streak has become. Every win just cements their legendary status, and it's not even over yet. And this ball game ends at a 9 to 4 final score. The Astros jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Josh James notches his third win of the year as he allows only two hits in five plus innings of work. Alex Young was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, nine runs, 14 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Diamondbacks, four runs on four hits, four errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.